A valley community coming together to hold a vigil for a man who was killed in a shooting rampage in Avondale. Fox 10's Marissa Sarbach is live where that celebration of life was held tonight. Marissa. Christina, John, in fact, some people are still here honoring and celebrating the life of Gabe Sotelo. Hundreds were out earlier just showing the sheer size of the crowd, showed how beloved he was in his community. Now, all of them decided to gather here right outside his former barber shop here in Glendale. And they said all above all else, he was just so impactful in his community. He stepped in when my father didn't. And it's just, it, it feels like I lost my father on Saturday. Isaiah Scalardo is Gabe Sotelo's nephew. He's followed in his uncle's footsteps his entire life. I have so many like good memories with him, and he's the reason why I'm, I'm a barber now, because I always looked up to him, and I always wanted to be like him. From a love of cars to his talents as a barber and a friend always willing to provide a listening ear, there's no shortage of kind words at Gabe's vigil. But above all else, it's clear he'll be remembered for his love of family. I just hope to be half the man that he was. I hope to be there for my family like he was for his. Described as a pillar in the community and a mentor to many, it was certainly a life taken too soon. Avondale police have confirmed Gabriel Sotelo was killed in a seemingly random shooting spree on Saturday. Seven people were shot at near Avondale Boulevard and McDowell, but Gabe was the only one who died. 29-year-old Raymond Pipkin confessed to the crimes. You know, you hear when somebody passes away, it's all about, hey, oh, he was such a good person. But no, really, Gabe really did fit the bill. And uh, he was, he was every, everything that everybody is saying about him is true. Oh. And now the very large family Gabe leaves behind will be stepping up to help his wife raise their four kids and fifth on the way. It sucks that, you know, this happened because now every birthday, every graduation, every big moment is going to be your dad would have been so proud. Your dad would have really loved to see this. And the words that we heard uttered repeatedly tonight as people raised their candles were forever young. It was the slogan on Gabe's barber shop, but now it is something that will stick with the Sotelo family for another reason. Reporting live in Glendale tonight, Marissa Sarbach for Fox 10 News. Police make an arrest in a 2021 murder after the suspect was found earlier this week in Michigan. Last December, Stella Montes was shot while she was driving near 7th Avenue in Beardsley. The shooter took off. But police continued to investigate the case. Detectives traveled to Michigan. They worked with local law enforcement, and they found their suspect. He was arrested and is now awaiting extradition back here to Arizona. Police say they will release his name once he is booked into jail here in Phoenix. In the West Valley, two people are found dead inside a vehicle that was parked on the side of the road. Investigators discovered the bodies this morning near Cotton Lane and Cerebral in Goodyear. Now, the vehicle has Texas license plates on it. There's no word, though, yet on how the people died. Deputies say there is no threat to the community. Crews shut down a stretch of MC-85 while law enforcement processed that scene. New details now on a deadly shooting outside an East Valley shopping center. Now, police say the suspect did not know the victims, but thought they were involved in previous crimes. Police arresting 65-year-old Kenneth Montgomery on murder and aggravated assault charges. Now, they say he shot and killed 61-year-old Antoinette Leota and wounded her 27-year-old son, Albert Leota. The victims were shot while sleeping in separate cars in a parking lot near the U.S. 60 in Greenfield. An officer used witness descriptions to ID Montgomery from a previous call that morning. He was found trying to get into the bed of a stranger's pickup truck along the Bush Highway. Now, according to court documents, Montgomery admitted to the shooting and said he has remorse. All right, let's get to this story here. We're also following a news alert out of Pinal County. A shooting suspect remains on the loose. Sky Fox over the scene of a shooting near State Route 347 and Padilla Road. This is near Stanfield. The Pinal County Sheriff's Office says they received a 911 call from a child last night uh, saying a family member had been shot and was dying. When deputies arrived on scene, they found a victim, 30-year-old woman, and uh, she died. Investigators now looking for 32-year-old Ishmael Ortega Hernandez. Uh, we have a previous mugshot here that we have for you this morning. We've been showing it throughout the morning, and authorities are uh, on the hunt for this man. He ran off after the shooting. He was wearing a black shirt and black pants and is considered armed and dangerous. So here's that photo, that uh, mugshot of him from uh, prior years. So if you spot him, do not approach him. Please call 911.